Happy Friday, fourth grade. All right, so today what we're gonna do is work on a little bit more of our narrative writing skills. Who doesn't love to tell a story? Their own story. So today we're gonna work on how we can use a little bit of what we've been working on this week, the skill of inferencing. When we infer, okay, the text doesn't straight out tell us what something is or what's going on specifically. We have to make our best guess using text details, but also what we know about that particular topic. So today we're gonna to combine the ability to infer or let our reader infer with our narrative writing, but also the skill of narrative writing. I'm gonna give you an example. I happen to write just a little, bit, a little something. And this is kind of what I'm looking for from you guys. Okay, look at, first let's focus on the amount. It's about half a page. Doesn't have to be, I'm not looking for quantity, I'm looking for quality, but I'm looking for a paragraph, so that's at least four or more sentences. Okay, all right, here is my narrative writing. And I didn't quite come up with a title, so maybe you guys can help me find a title for it. Waking up this morning with the blanket not covering my toes reminded me of the time I accidentally fell into a large puddle. It was mid-April and had rained most days that month. I definitely did not have my boots on. Instead, I had on my black flip-flops with my toe socks, of course. I had a tough choice to make. Should I keep my toe socks on, drenched, or should I take them off and hope that my toes will dry soon? I chose to hope for sunshine. All right, so my story, as brief as it is, is not saying specifically maybe how I'm feeling or what I'm going through in this moment, thinking back to a uh, particular instance, but I'm saying something. I want you to think about what an inference is or what can you infer from this short narrative writing piece? Okay. There is not a right or wrong specific answer, but I want you to stay within the realm, the area of what this is talking about. So what am I saying? Where did I start? Where did I end? And what was my topic about? Okay. Think about if you've had, if you have any connection to this, have you ever been in a similar situation or have you had any kind of experience that you're like, oh, that reminds me of the time I did this or something like that. Okay. All right. So today's assignment is to come up with a narrative writing piece. Um, again, a paragraph at least. If you want to do multi-paragraph, you go for it. But I want you to keep it within three to five paragraphs that you're going to write more than one paragraph. Okay. Minimum of four sentences in that one paragraph. Please check for spelling, pronunciation. If I can't read it, I can't grade it. So if you're having a hard time reading it, just know that I'm gonna have a really hard time. So once you've written it, read it out loud. Make sure it you can read it, make sure it makes sense, and make sure it sounds good. Again, make sure you're not saying specifically something. You are leading them along that way. You're telling a story. It can be... I would like it to be something that is true. Remember, narrative is you're telling a story, but does it have to be true? No. Get creative, write a story, but please make sure you're able to let the reader, me or whoever else wants to read, infer. Okay? If you have any questions, you know what to do. Please ask, and I'll be glad to answer any of those questions that you may have. All right, have fun with this. This is our last assignment. This is Friday, it's end of the week. Make it fun. Have fun with it and good luck. Bing. I didn't bing right. Bing and end.